everyone, welcome to Hackbatch. This is my multi-camera recording setup. Could I just move the camera multiple times, press record, and sync all the files later? Sure, but it's not quite as fun. Today I'm going to show you the equipment and software that I use to get this all working. In its current state, I can record three streams of video from different cameras, as well as the screen of a laptop or computer. What I'm using to record everything and grab all of my sources and put them in one place is OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. In practice, I should be able to stream four different sources and do a multicam setup with streaming while recording all four of those sources to a single file that I can split up later. Instead of recording each file separately, I'm recording them all into one large file and cropping it later. The only way that this works is if I use a 4K file so I can get four 1080p video sources. The main camera, my camera one, goes in the top left quadrant. My secondary camera, camera two, goes in the bottom left. Camera three, bottom right. And any display capture or other source that I'm trying to capture goes in the top right. The best part is it's all linked to one record button and I don't have to manage multiple media cards or anything like that in order to drag it into the edit. It's all just recorded directly to my hard drive and I can just drag one clip in. This shot is a great example of how this setup works so well. Actually, it's the space in between shots where it works very well. What I mean is that in the first shot of this video, I had cameras set up all around the room. In this shot, I have my cameras all pointed at my desk, or pointed at me. That only took about three minutes to set up again, and I could just press record and all of them are recording at the same time. At the center of this setup is an M1 MacBook Air, which is plugged into a USB-C hub. This USB-C hub is where all the sources are routing into. The main camera uses an HDMI adapter to run into this capture card, which just shows up as a USB video device on OBS. The second two USB ports here are occupied by two iPhone cameras, one running from an iPhone 10, the other running from an iPhone 12, which is my personal phone. Yes, it is extremely convenient that I have an extra iPhone laying around, but it was broken anyway, and I could use it as an extra camera. It is possible and cheaper to do the same thing with old Android phones. For example, this Samsung Galaxy S8. Again, that's just a USB cable running directly into the phone and an app called OBS Camera used with a plug-in on OBS in order to get the source from the camera directly into OBS. Besides the two cameras that I have over here on little tripods, everything is reconfigurable with these two friction arms and these poles that I mount everything onto. I use one of those with a ball head for my video light. The main advantage of modular gear is that I can pack it up very small and put it in a bag, and I can also move it over to the workbench. And now with a little bit more effort, everything is set up on this side of the room with the workbench, my top down shot, and everything's working. Obviously I would group my shots based on kind of the story that I'm trying to tell and the shots that I actually need. For example, if I'm at the workbench and I'm showing something off on the table, I'm gonna come over here to the workbench side and set everything up here, get all my shots and be done. If I'm gonna be on the desk side, I'm gonna get all my shots that need to be done at the desk. The question that might be on your mind is, how do you set it up? I'll have a more in-depth explanation of how everything is connected, the plugins that I use, the apps that I use on the phones, and all that stuff on my blog at hackbatch.com. That, of course, is linked in the description below. With that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.